Chapter 5, lesson number 5, compare and order rational numbers. How to compare and order rational numbers? Let's see. Let's take the first problem. In problem A, we have here 3.1 and negative 3.7. Of course, any positive number is bigger than any negative number. So you are going to put the sign this way. In problem B, we have negative 4.5 and negative 4.49. We have here two decimals, so it's better to put here another decimal. Now, if you think of these two numbers as positive numbers without the negative sign, means 4.50 and 4.49, you will discover that 4.50 is bigger. But in negative, in negative, the smaller will be the bigger. The smaller in the positive will be the bigger in the negative. So the sign goes this way. Now here in the form of fraction, we need to be sure that denominators are the same. Really, denominators are the same, 16 and 16. So of course, 12 over 16 is bigger. Here we need to make common denominator first. How can we make the 5, 10? So we multiply by 2 down. We multiply by 2 up. So this number stays negative 7 over 10. And this number will be negative 8 over 10. You know, if the two numbers are positive, you know that 8 is bigger than 7. But in the negative, negative 7 will be bigger than negative 8. So the sign goes this way. So now, fill in each circle with smaller than, greater than, or equal to make a true statement. Uh, negative 3 and 5 over 8 and negative 3.625. Uh, actually, this supposed to be equal. Let me show you why I'll take the fraction, only the fraction 5 over 8. And let's see what decimal it will give. If it gives this decimal accurately, means they are identical in everything, in decimal and in whole number and also in negative. But if it gives a different decimal, so we can put smaller or greater according to the result. Let me see, five over eight will give what decimal? Of course, five is not divisible by eight, so we put here zero decimal point zero decimal point so 50 divided by 8 is 6 6 by 50 48 minus will give you 2 you are allowed to put another 0 20 divided by 8 is 2 because 2 by 8 16 minus will give you 4 put another 0 and drop 40 divided by 8 is 5 5 by 8 is 40 minus 0 so really 5 over 8 will give 6.25. Sorry, will give 0.625. So really these two numbers, negative 3 and 5 over 8 and negative 3.625 are equal. Now problem F. Let's check this decimal 3 over 7 and what will happen and enough since we have here three decimal, so we can go for the uh, fourth decimal to discover what's going on. Yani the 0 0.413, three decimal. Mm -hmm. I need to discover here four decimals, what will happen. 
So don't forget, if you have here three decimals, you need to check here four decimals. Because maybe the first three decimals are the same, but the fourth decimal will show you the difference. So I'll try to divide now. <clears throat> uh three divided by seven let me do it here this is zero decimal point zero decimal point 30 divided by seven is four see the first decimal is the same four four by seven is 28 minus this will give you two another zero and drop so 20 divided by seven is two 2 by 7 is 14 minus this will give you 6 plus we discovered because the second decimal here is bigger than the second decimal here so no need to go further you have here 0 0.42 you have here 0 0.41 for sure this one is bigger for sure no need to continue because you have reached your aim Now in problem G, order this set of numbers, negative seven and 13 over 20, negative 7.78, negative seven and 17 over 100, from greatest to least, from greatest to least. So whether they are all mixed numbers or they are all decimals, it's up to you. I can see it's easy now to make them all decimals because this 17 is over 100. So this is negative 7.17. And this one is over 20 if I multiply by five up, by five down. This will be negative seven and 65 over 100 as well means negative 7.65. So the greater one is negative 7.17. Negative 7.17. And after this one, negative 7.17. 65 <clears throat> and after this one is the smallest one negative 7.78 now to write your final answer we go back and write them as the original form so here negative 7 and 17 over 100 then negative 7 and 13 over 20 finally negative 7 point 78 in the guided practice Fill in each circle with smaller than, greater than, or equal to make a true statement. We said before, any positive number for sure is bigger than any negative number. So without thinking, the sign should be greater than. Also, any positive number is bigger than any negative number. So for sure, the sign is bigger than. Here, both numbers are negative, and we know that 0.7 is like 7 over 10, means the two numbers are exactly equal. Here, both numbers are negative, so I need to find out what is this number in decimal. So I'll divide 5, divide by 6, will give you 0 decimal point, 0 decimal point. 50 divided by 6, this will give you uh, 9, no, not 9, because 9 by 6 is 54, this will give you 8, 
8 by 6 is 48 minus this will give you 2 now we can add and drop of course it's clear from from now but i need to find out 20 divided by 8 is 2 uh, sorry 3 3 by 6 is 18 minus this will give you 2 and the process will continue because you will drop a 0 and drop and by 6 will give you 3 and 18 minus will give you 2 so the process will continue means uh, 3 will be repeated so this number is negative 0 0.8 3 repeated and of course it will be bigger this number is bigger why because if you compare the first decimal here this is 8 and here this is 9 so if we are talking about positive numbers for sure 0 0.9 is bigger but for the negative numbers for the negative numbers for sure negative 0 0.8 will be bigger than negative 0 0.9 so that's why we put here the greater sign uh, now order the following sets of numbers from least to greatest from least so we think of the negative first from least we think of the negative numbers first so I have here negative 3 and third and negative 3 and 3 over 4 to compare them we need to make common denominator so I'll multiply here the 3 by 4 down and up and the 4 by 3 down and up so this will be negative 3 and 4 over 12 and negative 3 and 9 over 12 so from least negative 3 and 9 over 12 will be smaller than negative 3 and 4 over 12 so we start with negative 3 the order I mean negative 3 and 9 over 12 then negative 3 and 4 over 12 then normally the two positive numbers so for sure 3.3 then 3.5 now don't forget to bring them back to the original shape so the final answer is negative 3 and 3 over 4 then negative 3 and third then 3.3 then finally 3.5 now let me take these numbers <clears throat> i have here 2.1 repeated minus 2.1 so let's compare the negative numbers first and then we finish the positive for the negative numbers for sure negative 2.1 is smaller than negative 2 it's to the left of negative 2 on the number line I mean so we start with negative 2.1 then negative 2 then I need to find out these numbers I told you before about the uh, repeated number since 1 is repeated means it was 1 over 9 so if you remember this 2.1 repeated means 2 and 1 over 9 so which one is bigger 2 and 1 over 9 2 and 1 over 11 of course 2 and 1 over 9 because if two numerators are the same if two num numerators like 1 and 1 the bigger denominator will be the smaller in value like you know that half and third for example half and third 
both half and third, they have the same numerator. So the bigger denominator will be the smaller in value because you know that really half is bigger than third. It's yani very famous. So really here, two and one over 11 will be smaller than two and one over nine. So you can say two, one over 11, then two and one over nine, which is 2.1 repeated. Problem number seven, Steve recorded these amounts in his checkbook, negative uh, $6.50, $7, negative $6.25, $7.25, order these amounts from least to greatest. So the least amount, of course, it will be in negative and it's negative. 6.75 dollars then negative 6.50 dollars we are done with the negative so let's get in the positive we have seven dollars then seven point $25. So that's it for our lesson for today. And if you have any question, please write it down in comments.